Well, well, what do we have here? Nature calls? It's in the back. The opening moments of Devil May Cry laid the foundation for what has become a classic action franchise. A bad sequel here, spin-off game there, and Devil May Cry would ultimately go dormant for several years. Like much of Capcom's storied franchises, it just seemed as if the passion was gone and outside of a reference or a cameo, fans of the series just assumed it would stay that way. Luckily for us, Capcom changed all of that when they finally announced Devil May Cry 5 and blew everybody away at E3 2018 with a stunning debut trailer. Spearheaded by Hideki Itsuno, Capcom set out to do what they have done with near perfection as of late and modernize a classic franchise without losing what made it so special to begin with. Devil May Cry 5 picks up where 4 left off more than a decade ago. Dante has taken a job, hired by the mysterious new character named V, to tackle a demon lord who has occupied an entire city. Nero gets involved, Lady and Trisha are around, and that's the gist of the story when you start up. I'm not going to spoil how wild things end up, because the story goes places, and for a game not lauded much for its plot much, I was genuinely surprised by how well the story was told, and the surprises it had in store for me as I progressed through it. While most of the action is tried and true, the game does feature a number of changes. In terms of plot, while the structure of the game is familiar to any returning veterans, the way the story is laid out is a bit unusual. Dante, Nero, and Newcomer V are all playable and who you play as is largely based on the storyline. Every now and then a chapter will allow you a choice of character, but for the most part the game will dictate who are you are using at any given moment. The storyline itself is also told in a non-linear fashion. The game will constantly shift and weave forward and backwards through time. It's an initially confusing way to tell the story, but after a couple of chapters, the full picture comes into view and jumps in time will become clear. While it seems limiting, all three characters are a blast to play and they provide enough unique upgrades and skills that any one of these three could power an entire action game by themselves. The return of Dante and Nero also brings a return of their classic gameplay. Nero, losing an arm from the onset, is given a prosthetic arm called Devil Breakers. His friend Nico, the latest in gaming trends toward pretty mechanics, drives this crazy van that can be called upon to perform upgrades for the team. Part of the upgrades are numerous Devil Breakers for Nero to buy, equip, and make loadouts with. Each one of these Devil Breakers is vastly different and they bring unique attacks and gameplay styles with them. However, usage of each arm is limited, and after several tries, they will break and leave you without an arm until you pick up more that are strewn about his stages. Nero also uses his trusty Blue Rose and Red Queen, fully rounding out his arsenal with the EX gauge timing and special attacks you'd expect if you played Devil May Cry 4. Dante also returns with just about every trick in the book you would expect and even a little bit more. He has the ability to swap between four different sets of melee weapons, range weapons, and fighting styles. Dante seems purely built to be a combo creator's dream. His flexibility with his gameplay and real-time switching between gun, sword, and style can truly lead to spectacular moments in combat. V, the mysteriously Kylo Ren-esque new character, is where the gameplay changes the most. He is a radical departure from Nero and Dante, as he is weaker and more frail than his pals. V is a summoner and has three different companions he can summon to help him in combat. His three summons are the backbone of his gameplay. V can't actually physically attack his foes, and his summons can't kill anybody. When an enemy is weakened, V has to go up to them and finish them off, and until he does that, the enemy will not die and remain alive. This mechanic truly pushes V into a different category of character action, managing his summons, his own positioning, and keeping track of which enemy you have to finish off next, all at the same time, feels akin to spinning four plates while trying to say the alphabet backwards. It's a lot to take in, and he probably has the largest skill gap in the game, but when you dig into his style, the carnage on screen is unmatched by any other action game. 
a panther uppercutting an enemy while a bird is juggling them with lightning while you're riding on the back of a giant is a sight to behold and i found myself gravitating to v whenever i had the choice of character to use simply because his style is completely unique to the genre outside of the traditional gameplay and game structure the one unique mechanic introduced is social co-op at various moments through the campaign the characters will often cross paths or have sight lines of each other if networking is turned on, the players will seamlessly fill the roles instead of AI, and although it's a small touch, it goes a long way toward creating some truly epic moments during the storyline. I hope to see this co-op come back for the free Bloody Palace update that's launching shortly as well, because playing this game with friends would be a blast. Rounding out the package are the visuals and performance that you can expect from the RE engine absolutely stunning graphics are front and center alongside a blistering frame rate no matter which platform you play this on it will look and perform fantastic the same great tone is also represented with the game's audio design each character is voiced well and the music hits hard and brings plenty of corny rock into the mix in the best way possible and if you don't like it the deluxe edition comes with some classic tracks from the older Devil May Cry games for your battle needs. Overall, Devil May Cry 5, just like Resident Evil 2 Remake, Monster Hunter World before it, are fantastic re-entries for classic franchises that people love across the world. The love and attention they give the action, the storyline, and its own insane over-the-top universe are treated so well that you just take it in stride, and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for Capcom and their old franchises. And now that Devil May Cry is out the way, I would love to see a new Dragon's Dogma. But that's for the future, and as for now, Devil May Cry 5 is an absolutely fantastic 9.5. I love Devil May Cry, I have a huge history with this franchise. And to have a new one in 2019 make me feel like I did when I played Part 3 more than 10 years ago, 15 years ago probably at this point, I was not expecting that, and I absolutely love the new Capcom. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Rectify review. I am Namtox. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let's hit 2,000 subscribers, and check out the website for the full written review. Have a good one, everyone.